This is the biggest project that Nintendo's ever done, video game-wise. A gigantic team of people uh, have been creating this game for months, have been putting you know tons of hours into it, and uh, we'll just take a little look. With The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, you're gonna be using the motion control in ways that, uh, that are really integral, integral to, the, uh, to, the, to the action. So let me just kind of find some enemies. I'll show you, show you what I mean. I'm gonna get these guys out of the way. So this guy's gonna, gonna uh, come at me here. I'm gonna just attack him from behind here. But you see he's got, he's, he's holding a uh, hammer on his right hand side. So if I try to hit him from the left. There, I, I got him. So if, if you, each enemy you kind of have to attack them in a certain way um, to, uh, to take advantage of their weak points. So of course Zelda features uh, all kinds of uh, dungeon you know, dungeon um, exploration, boss battles, as well as some uh, some some great uh, action sequences in between. The uh, the great thing about the Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword is it is filled with content. So, as you're going through and exploring dungeons from place to place, you're going to find tons of different things to uh, to see and to uh, to explore and to collect. So here I've got a I've got a uh, spider here. Let's see if I can. So I'm going to thrust with the sword here, <laughs> or get knocked down a little bit. So of course uh, Zelda is, you know, it's uh, lots of different kinds of items here. I'm going to take out my beetle. All right, I launched and cut him, cut him down using the beetle. Here I have a, I can, I can dash and I can have a limited amount of time doing that. But it's, the way that it's using the motion, you know, with both your sword and your shield, you'll be immersed in the game really more than, than ever before in a, uh, in a Zelda game. So here we have a Stalfos Knight. You can see, see the way he's holding the sword, he's giving me an opening on the side, kind of, kind of, Telegraphs. Uh, of course, uh, in, in Legend of Zelda, you know, finding items is really a big part of the game. Not only are you going to find all kinds of different items and tools and weapons, but you'll be able to find upgrades for your items. So let's see, what do we have in this treasure chest? It's an upgrade for the beetle. Now, now the beetle can actually pick up and, and bring items to you. Now this game, uh, of course, is, is part of the celebration. So this year marks the 25th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. And uh, Skyward Sword is certainly part of that anniversary. Early in the year we had Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 3DS. Great, uh, a great um, remake of that, of that classic game. We've got uh, the, 
the anniversary concerts that are happening. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have symphonic concerts in uh, in London and L.A. and and Tokyo, and uh, there'll be more on that. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, though, is going to come packaged. There'll be a special bundle offer that you can get with a with a gold Wii remote and a special music CD from the uh, from the uh, orchestra. So, some really really cool things coming out for Zelda. Also, as a uh, as a thank you to all our, all our fans uh, on the uh, DSI shop, the DSI wear, and also on the uh, e shop, you can download the Legend of Zelda uh, Four Swords Anniversary Edition. It's free for a limited time. It plays both on Nintendo 3DS and DSi. So, uh, so if you haven't gone and visited the uh, online shop, definitely go and do that because, uh, like I said, available for, uh, for a limited time and it's, uh, it's a great experience. So just a little taste of The Legend of Zelda uh, Skyward Sword and it'll be out November 20th.